In its best moments, Astral Chain is a stark reminder of how Platinum Games built its formidable reputation, and why fans excitedly look forward to any big new project from the studio. In a lot of ways, the game is exactly what you'd expect. A relentlessly over-the-top action game that demands finesse, and a competent understanding of various mechanics to perform well. Yet, it's the ways in which Astral Chain stretches outside of Platinum's comfort zone that makes the game most worthy of praise. The heart and soul of Astral Chain are the various legions you gather and control throughout the story. Legions are living weapons, essentially tamed sci-fi monsters whose purpose can dramatically change depending on which one is active. The Sword Legion you start with feels solid all around, but can also do pretty crazy things, capable of aimed slice attacks that feel very reminiscent of Metal Gear Rising. Other legions complement different styles of play, such as the Arrow Legion with long-range attacks, and the Brutish Arm Legion that handles problems with its fists. Although legions do act on their own in battle, getting through combat demands adeptly controlling them. You can send legions toward the enemy, pull them away from danger, and go even further by dictating their precise movement with the right stick. Such exact control is necessary because properly maneuvering has huge payoffs. Attacking an enemy from behind does more damage, while successfully circling an enemy and wrapping them in the chain that binds you and your legion disables them temporarily. The power of the legions comes at a cost, with an energy meter governing how long they can remain in combat when summoned. This meter drains over time, as well as when the legion takes damage. If it disappears completely, you have to wait for it to refill, leaving you without a legion and likely very frustrated since a good number of tools aren't available. It's not that you can't attack on your own, in fact, effectively using the three weapons at your disposal is just as important as having the right legion for the job. It's just that, without a legion, you're operating at a severe handicap. Sync attacks, powerful moves that can trigger during combos or after a successful dodge, are a huge source of damage, and they can't be performed at all if a legion isn't available. It adds a wonderful and significantly deep layer to the boilerplate platinum style. Evading at just the right moment and knowing when to unleash a lengthy combo are still crucial components to fights, feeling just as excellent as they have in other comparable action games. Yet doing all this while being perfectly in sync with your Legion makes fights noticeably different, not to mention how much of a spectacle it all becomes with both you and your giant creature wreaking havoc. Because of the extra layers that legions provide, it takes a bit of time to adjust to exactly how Astral Chain wants players to approach it. Initially, it's overwhelming as you simply try to get basic movement and attacks down, let alone your legions, all while enemies are tirelessly breathing down your neck. What makes the process enjoyable instead of arduous is how smartly Astral Chain puts everything together. A lot of your most vital functions are done with just a push of a button, and many aspects can be learned with just a bit of practice. The streamlined and straightforward approach to managing your legion and fights in general means it's easy to see significant leaps in your own performance. It's the same sensation of growth that has made other Platinum games so absorbing, since your effort is so clearly recognized and rewarded. As important as your own coordination is in Astral Chain, it's not the only source of power, and the RPG aspects offer huge boosts. Using money and collected resources, it's possible to upgrade the potency of your own weapons, as well as to teach your various legions new abilities, or just make them stronger overall. How you invest can have a fairly dramatic effect on playstyle, making weapons or legions more robust than before. Beyond the raw power, though, what makes upgrading so interesting is that it's easy to feel pulled in multiple directions. You may have to choose between going deeper down a particular legion skill tree or beefing up your own arsenal, since both options may require the same rare material. Not being able to do everything all at once makes decisions consequential, while also encouraging you to replay missions or complete challenges to gather whatever you need. Regardless of how you upgrade, though, it's hard to rely on just one particular style. The makeup of enemies and boss fights strongly encourages you to use one legion over another, and there's commendable variety. There's notable variety outside of combat as well, since legions are also useful for solving environmental puzzles and platforming. It's easy to assume that a Platinum action game will be rigidly linear, and although Astral Chain isn't completely open, it has an abundance of tasks to tackle outside of the main narrative. The game constantly encourages players to poke around. These tasks run a wide gamut from simple things like chasing someone down or fighting off enemies, to the more bizarre, such as playing guessing games with a group of similar-looking children or rescuing cats. At first, the structure and list of things to do is liberating, allowing you to soak in the stylistically rich world and appreciate the small things like holographic signals at crosswalks. Characters can have their own charm as well, not the least of which is the adorable dog mascot named Lappy. 
Yet as easy as it is to get swept up in Astral Chain's trappings, it's almost just as easy for them to wear thin. The optional cases seem to never stop, which would be fine if they were regularly about something, but so often they're just chores in the most literal sense of the word. They're about the menial task and nothing more. As a result, the excitement for engaging in these tasks runs dry before reaching the end of the game. It would be easier to swallow if the broader story were more substantial, but it really isn't. Besides being achingly predictable, the narrative doesn't have anything of consequence to say or ability to say any of it well, and there isn't much depth to the core cast of characters. While action games don't require a sharp story, the more open-ended structure of Astral Chain means it leans on its world and characters more, and there isn't enough there to properly support it, making missions sometimes feel very drawn out. For as empty as the story can feel, it really speaks to how remarkable much of the rest of the game is, that it ends up being worthwhile overall. If you care about action games, Astral Chain is worth experiencing for yourself. The mechanics underpinning combat are generally fantastic. Not to mention, Astral Chain has some absolutely ridiculous and visually striking boss fights. With a better script or structure, Astral Chain could have been an all-time classic. But as it stands, it's still a pretty great Platinum game. Easy Allies reviews are made possible by generous viewers just like you. If you like what you see, check out patreon.com slash easyallies to help us make more. For just $1 a month, you can gain access to weekly updates, spoiler discussions, and exclusive shows.